Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. This is still rolling with the big build. And first of all, I'd like to just say apologies if you've been following this series. I know that I haven't done any recordings on this in a little while. Um, Steam Next Fest happened. Uh, my kids got ill, that happened. I got ill, that happened. And it's just thrown my entire schedule of the videos I wanted to do into complete disarray, as so often is the case with uh, with my content. Um, but yeah, we are back, and just to make sure that you guys are aware, I still have absolutely no intention of not seeing this through. I will go all the way with this one. We've come too far to let this one slip away, I think you will agree. So, uh, last time out, we uh, basically started the work over here to complete... Uh, this little one here. Let's have a little cheeky look inside, shall we? There we go. Look at this. A very surprised looking fish. So yeah, we've done that one. That was our first very kind of different um, aquarium or or, uh, or tank, rather. We've got some cool tanks with the bridges and bits and pieces, but having one like that with enclosed walls and ceilings and only little portholes to look through, very, very unique in this aquarium so far. We'll see if we can't come up with a few more ideas like that as we go forward. Uh, the plan now is effectively to take people up this way, bring it round, and then back down here again and round. That is the plan. At least I think that was the plan that I agreed that I would do last time we played this. Let us quickly do the frozen paint on these. We, of course, do need to wait for some money to roll in. Uh, okay, we've got some of that. That's fine. Uh, let's take a quick look at the state of play with our fish. Problems. Too many chitlins in here. Time to sell a few. Uh, what is up with you? Your territorial... So you've got a territory problem. Where, where are you? Which... Which tank are you in? I think you're over here somewhere, aren't you? Where is the Picasso Triggerfish located? Oh wow, you're all the way over there? So the two, we've got two fish. That's all we have in here. And the tank is apparently not big enough for the both of them. I mean, I can probably... I mean, I might be able to help with some of that. Uh, what does the tool belt dispenser do? It's 10,000, mind. Okay, it helps with the fixing skill. Okay. Let's get the popcorn cart in because I feel like we need some more uh, opportunities to make money here. Do I need to make this a bigger tank? I feel like I possibly do. Okay, right. We're going to use... Uh, so what type of tank is it, first of all? Make sure I don't build the same one. It's a deep wall tank. Has up to... What size, sorry, what size was that? Up to 80. Uh, where is the deep wall tank? So I can just make that tank bigger. So if I was to do a 96 sized one. Yeah, I think that will work. Uh, right, so I should be able to just do this. Probably going to need another filter. So, um, now which one of these? Is it the shipwreck one? Uh, yes, I believe it is. Uh, it's not quite hot enough. Put a power combi on it like that. That should take us comfortably over. And then we need to give ourselves a little ramp. That's a problem. I now don't have enough to go on that. Can we move that slightly like that? 
And then build a little nitrate thingy there. I think we can. I think we can get away with that. I don't know why I built, built another one when I had one there. Right. Uh, yes, continue. Still not big enough. Is this going to be big enough? I'm going to have to move the door now as well, aren't I? Because the door is not going to be sufficiently uh, wide enough. Shipwreck. Right. Is that big enough? Just. The trouble is, it's not going to be in a minute when that thing grows and we're going to be back to square one. So I've just done all of that. That's the biggest I can make that tank, and it still is not going to be big enough. Territory, if there are more than one combined size of Picasso trigger fish, it must not exceed 10% of trigger capacity. Of tank capacity, sorry. So, what? How big is the big one? So, it's going to be just over, isn't it? 10% is 12. Sorry, 11.2. 11, oh, 11 you saying that? 10% right now. I mean, it's, oh, I see what you mean. It's currently at 12 so it is at 10%. So yeah, when that one grows by four, that is going to drop. Okay, well, they might just have to be a little bit unhappy for a while then. I've given them a bigger tank. They should be happier. Okay. Um, Arctic Skate has been unlocked. What other ones have we got we can unlock here? We can do... Let's get the lobster. Tip Reef Shark. For a butterfly ram. No, nope. not interested. But other things to deal with at the moment. Uh, fully grown southern stingray. So, right, okay, let's think start thinking about over here. So, do we want a So effectively we're gonna we're gonna force them to walk sort of like this, aren't we? Is that going to be enough room for a tank? That's my only slight concern. Might have to make this area over here wider. And that probably do the job. I mean, we could do our creasel tanks more or... I think anything that goes in the creasel tank is going to be Hot water stuff, isn't it? Have we even got anything to go in the creasel tank at the moment? I'm not sure we do. Unless it is all cold water stuff, am I wrong? Oh, there we go. So we have got a, we've got a jellyfish there. Did we have a jellyfish on the other side and I didn't see it? that's normally what goes in all the um, the creasel tanks. No. So, okay, so we could put a, a one of those tanks in and put some uh, jellyfish in. Uh, that's the wrong button. Like 
that. Let's just paint these up. We are getting closer. We're, getting, we're raking in the money a little bit at the moment, which is, a, which is a good thing. I don't know if we can paint. Oh, we can paint that. Lovely. So that'd be one creature tank in there. Do we want to try and get something else in there as well? Popcorn cart is ready. Let's go for the Dulux toilet. I'm not sure we're going to be able to stick much in there, to be honest, unless we do a um, a tunnel tank that they can walk through as part of this. Could we do a could we do a tunnel tank here? Common lobs is done. We're just going to unlock everything at this point. Where? So we could do this. have to build more like this. And then, oh, I just, uh, I just achieved something. What did I just achieve? How do I know which one I just completed? I wasn't looking. Was it the, oh, it might have been the, the tourist count. How many people have we got in here? Can we see? Am I being stupid? How many people have we got in here? 190, yeah, it was that one. It was getting up to 190, so it was that one. Oh, that unlocked quickly. Uh, okay. Some toys in. So, what would then need to happen... Is we're gonna have to have a little move around in here. Uh, go there like that. We stick that anywhere else. Hmm. Okay. Stick that there for now. you get here? Right. So we have to go in this way, aren't we? Like so. Not going to have a great deal of room to work it within there. And the uh, top of the tank is taller than the wall. That's quite trig that's quite uh, triggering that. How are these people getting through? Oh, 
Okay. So, what can we put in here? So, we need cold water. Currently not in the aquarium. What can we put in there? So, we've got these ones here. These are wimps. They'll grow big. Sea needles. When fully grown, they will attack stuff. So, mackerel, pollocks, and sea needles, I think, can all go in together. Right. Right, we'll do that. So then what also needs to happen is, is that we are going to need to... This is definitely going to need to be extended. Do you know what? Let's get rid of that for the minute and take, and we'll have the money back. Like so. Let's just paint everything quickly because it's triggering me that it's it looks like this. We'll move all that around in a second, but we do need right. That's all we need for that. We just need that one chiller, which is great. Mega filter takes it to sixty-one. A large double filter there takes it to 77. What about then a... Not enough money, good. Quickly get me some money. Okay, that's good. That sorts me for the, for the moment. So now, let's just move this stuff around. We are probably going to need to do this as well, aren't we? The zones. Let's just uh, include all of that for the moment, but that is included in the zone, which is good. So what do we need? Uh, which one is it? I can never remember. It's this one. So we need, we need some cockles. Some light blue and yellow, whatever they are. Oh shit, is that, that's not supplements, is it? No. It's crab, okay. Is it crab? No, it's herring, okay. Where's herring? That one. Okay. Come on. Money, money, money. What's the time? Oh, quick. Wait, how much is herring? 750? Oh, and then I ran out of money. I knew that was going to happen. Why is herring that much more expensive right now? We've got to hope that during this day, at some point, we can get all the way up to 750. We need that money to come down double quick. Otherwise, we're going to have some dead... We need... How much do we need? We need a le uh, 1,200 in total. 1,200 in the black. And we're already almost halfway through this day. Come on! How are we going to get there? Money is... It is coming down pretty quick, but... What are we at? Two o'clock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
We're almost in the black. I just need to get us to the point where we can get these get this food in. And then that tank is done for now. And then we can decorate it once we get some more money. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to get there. Right, 750. You're in. And what was the last one? I think it's sand eels, isn't it? Yep. Okay, we're in. We're good. Uh, we probably should do another door. That is sandy, was isn't it? Yes, it is. Right. Um, kelp hoop for sale. That looks kind of cool. Might leave that for the moment. Ethan's leveled up. Lump sucker has grown. A triple filter. Okay, we'll leave that where it is. I, I don't know if that's... Certainly not in there. Is it in my next... No, it is in my next one. In which case... We'll leave that alone for the moment. I don't necessarily think there is a... I mean, given, given the amount of um, stuff it gives you on each of the nitrate, of the protein skimmer, and of the general water filtration, I don't know if it's that great anyway. Um, I'm not actually sure what job I've given you, Seb. Let's go and have a quick... Quickly see what you're... What you're working on right now. So you're purely on gift shop duty, are you? If we give him cleaning too, and he can start doing that. Uh, Lucy has leveled up, fixing. Bianca's leveled up, fixing. Pacific Viper Fish needs to be in an abyssal tank. Uh, not going to do that. Just giving ourselves too much to do there. We, we, we've got so much to do. Cause loneliness. Oh, it needs more of the uh, the other sea needles with it. Right, okay. And I haven't got any money! Okay. Right, they're about to be fed, which is going to cheer them up. We're back in that spot again. We always seem to be in that same spot. So after we've done this, I'm going to go around and I'm going to put those two. We've got a new toy stand and we've got a popcorn stand. I'm going to start putting those all around the place. And hopefully that will help just increase some more money from merchandise sales. And here we are again, waiting for the opportunity to put more fish in because I've run out of money again. What's up with the Atlantic Pollux? Why are they only mildly green? We'll have a look at that in a moment. Probably because they have some kind of requirement for like uh, uh, foliage or rocks or caves or something like that. So only 271 each of these sea needles. Come on. One. Come on. Two. There we go. Right. They're happy. What's up with you guys? Oh, excuse me. You've not been fed. Is there a reason you're not being fed? Is it because of the... Okay. Uh, I think it has something to do with this. Okay, we make all that like that. So 
So does that mean that in theory somebody else can now come in? Okay, well, well we'll leave it like that and hopefully that will mean that two people can say it's still saying that only one person can feed. Have we only got one person down this way doing the feeding or something? No, because look. I think we've only got two, in fairness. I think we've only got... No, we've got three. Although you don't have a... You need a feeding stick. Okay, that's a little bit concerning as to why... Why oh, they're taking so long, but apparently these fish don't need any foliage or anything in their uh, in their tank to be happy. As boring as they come. As per usual, run out of money again. We'll quickly do this, and then we'll get those um, the toy racks, the toy shacks down, whatever they're called. And then we'll get the popcorn st uh, stands in as well. Come on, come on, come on. Just give them, you know, surely it's got to be good for them to have something there to kind of swim around or have some interest in. There we go. There we go. It's now at least a little bit more interesting in there for them. Right, okay. So now that is in a good spot. Why is this unavailable for being fixing? For being fixed. Uh, what shall we have? Uh, we'll get the abyssal tanking, so we will need that at some point. Has somebody nicked our toolbox from over here? Is that is that why? Oh no, it's just because you're fixing it over there. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I think the, this um, this thing here is actually more to do with the fact that we've only got two people feeding. I think we are going to need a third person for feeding pretty quickly, so we might as well just get them in now. In fact, no, we've got three people, have we not, that are doing feeding here? One, two, and yeah, three. We have three people feeding here already. Do we really need a fourth? And then you will do. You can have one of those when one becomes available. Do we give them? We need a couple of feeding sticks over here anyway, don't we? Right, okay. That should make life. A little bit better. Do we also need another mechanic as well. We've only got one person doing the fixing. Do we get a second person in for that then? So you do Yeah, the more I play the more I play this game, the more I realise that the staff management aspect when you're working with stuff of this size, it's just not quite good enough. 
when you're working with aquariums of this size, you simply need a, a more organized and a better way of doing stuff for leveling up, for telling them that they can do this and can't do that, groupings for things, you know, saying, right, you can do fixing, but you can't do feeding and allowing us to maybe dictate you know that exactly what they can and can't do but then group it so that when you employ a new person you just go right you're going to become a feeder or you're going to become a fixer and then just yeah make it easy like that that's what this game needs so tim i don't know if you're watching please let please do that <laughs> for the big for the ones for those of us out here who are building these massive aquariums it would take away a huge amount of the micromanaging like the amount of emails and staff level ups I have to do every single day is kind of mad when you get to this sort of level. Right, that should be fine now for a little while. Um, right. So, we should now... Be able to let them in here. Come in, everybody. Get the people coming round. Right, so now we need... Our snack machines. Popcorn machine there. Popcorn machine there. Okay, we'll uh, we'll just hold fire for a second. When you zoom out, the old FPS does take a bit of a hit when it's uh, showing everything that's going on. Okay, right, that's in there. Can go in there. Go in there. All the extra choices we're giving people. Okay, and then we probably need a toilet, don't we? A Dulux toilet now. We're going to stick with the. Uh, we can go for a Dulux toilet. Okay, we'll go for it. We'll go for a Dulux toilet. It's where it's rounded. It doesn't really work as well as it did with being able to hide it in a corner, for example, like like that one. Kind of just blends in with the walls, whereas that one does not. My God, we're losing a lot of money. Sea Needle, sea needle 4 could not grow and was then properly eaten. By Atlantic Pollock. Have all the other sea needles grown up, or are they all in? Are they all in danger? Have, have we? We've run out of space. Let's get rid of one of those. Make some room. Um, what's the problem now? We now, we now need to put another sea needle back in to replace the one that was just eaten. trouble is is that sea needle the the sea needle that's going to go in there is going to be so small he's going to get instantly eaten by the pollocks so in reality i need to do this and put the sea the sea needle in there let him grow up and then put him in and then put the pollocks back in
Come on. So rubbish having to constantly wait around. I wonder if there is something that I'm doing wrong, you know, with the, when it comes to money. I know I'm just spending it literally the second I get it. And I should let it build up a little bit more, but it just feels like I'm just constantly fighting. Right, well, let's see needle number seven grow up. It takes five days to get there. So once he's once he's grown, then we'll put the Atlantic Pollux back in. Alex, what is it that you're currently doing? So much clicking around. The number of guests is on the decline at the moment, which is not great. But yeah, ultimately I just need I just need more money. Where was the other... It was that one, wasn't it? I'll find places to now stash these. Waiting for money again. Right, one there. One there. One there. One there. One over there. For the end of the day, can we get the supply thingies in? No, because they're going to be too much money anyway. Get like two of them in before the day's out, I think. Uh, where have I put the boxes for the stuff over here? I thought they were all in like a cupboard somewhere. Oh yeah, they are. They're all over here. No. And I run out. Seems to be getting less and less money. We're now down to th minus three and a half thousand every day. It's because of all the extra staff I've taken on, isn't it? We a lot of cutting in this uh, episode, I think, where I'm literally just chopping forward five minutes to wait until I've got enough money to actually do something. Number of guests is going down, though, which is concerning. Why is it going down? I think I've got members of staff who are going to be traveling from the other side of the aquarium all the way around to the very front to go and get the box of Copperhead toys from the very entrance area of the um, of the aquarium and taking it back because someone's just done that there even though I've not put one in here yet oh they're 720 each so I thought they were 360 each for some reason god damn they're expensive I'm not even sure I'm going to get to to do one of them. I might just have to leave it, you know. Try and let a little bit of money build up. What are we getting to? Just over a thousand. And it's going to, what, going to drop to two and a half now. 2,200, something like that. 2,400. So 
So I think actually per day, we're actually not... I think we're making about anywhere between about 1,500 and 2,000. So we're actually making quite a lot of, a lot of money. It's just like <laughs> I can't let it build up because I'm constantly looking to build the next thing. I need to allow this game to progress like 20 days. In between episodes, I'm just going to let it progress like 20 days. Not do, not do a damn thing to my aquarium other than just let it run for 20 days. Deal with any issues that crop up in that time. Hope there's nothing serious that you guys miss. And then have a whole bunch of money that we can just have one episode where we can just build to our heart's content without any worries about money. I think there's a, probably a very good chance that I could be much more organized with the amount of things that I have that cost me money. Staff being one of them, probably. But maybe like the organization of where like these things are placed, where you have like more of a central supply. Right, okay, that's everything placed that I want to place. Now we must... Now we must be patient. Uh, I think I gave him cleaning and gift shop, didn't I, over this side, so... I'll let him level those up slowly. I mean, I think there is a... A case for saying, I mean, we've now unlocked all of the fish. We've almost done all the science. This is now just about this. We are, we're a long way. We're 2,000 away from that. <gasps> What's the guest thoughts? What's the most negative thought I guess I've got? I've got? There's not too many. I think, which was it, Mid Midas Chichley looks stressed. Because there's too many of the fucking things again. Um, yeah, look, we're still losing guests. It's now down below the 160 mark. I'm not entirely sure why they won't grow until requirements are fully... So if I put the, the Pollocks in now... Takes them four days. So they'd have to be a very quick turnaround. One, two, three. So that, sea, that Atlantic mackerel, uh, sorry, the sea needle, he has to grow on that fifth day. Because at the end of that fifth day, if he's the wrong size, the pollock is going to eat him. Anywho, right, okay, I think we're going to end things there in this episode. I um, appreciate we haven't done a huge amount, but I, I know I've said it a few times, but I really need to, need to let this run and accrue some money. So when we come back to the next episode, I will recap anything big that's happened. So you'll just have to forgive me if stuff happens in between, but I need to accrue some more money. I need to get up towards that sort of that 10,000 mark to really allow me the opportunity to build a couple of tanks in the next episode without having to sit here with my arms crossed waiting for stuff to happen and waiting for money to come in so that I can finish building something. Um, so yes, hopefully in the next episode we can address the issue of the guest numbers dwindling for some reason um, and we can start to properly flesh out and build out this area over here. We've got enough staff over here now. We just need more people in the aquarium to give me more money. I don't know what we're making per day. 1,300 per day. So, yeah, I'm going to need about eight or nine days to get up to um, that 10,000 mark that I'm looking for. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you are happy that we're back. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you sub for more. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Mega Aquarium.